Dave Popkin, Joe DeSantis, Ryan Peters, back with you. NEC Basketball Virtual Media Day, and we're being joined by one of the favorites, the LIU Sharks. Ty Flowers, one of our Player of the Year candidates this year. Derek Kellogg is the head coach. Uh, they join us from Brooklyn. And uh, Coach, start with you. Uh, obviously, a good team back this year, but you lose a lot as well. Raekwon Clark was one of the best scorers in recent memory in the NEC. A couple other starters are gone. So uh, what is the job that you have to do now? What is the new dynamic? I'm so appreciative of you know, Raekwon and Bats and uh, Augusto and those guys brought to the program and made such an easy transition for me to take over as the head coach with an NCAA tournament berth and um, a couple great seasons. Um, but like anything, uh, kind of time moves you along, and now it's time for the next group to take over and, and kind of build on the legacy of the LIU Sharks and um, Brooklyn program. So uh, I feel like we've got a really good group of guys coming back. So the foundation is pretty strong for returners with Ty Flowers, I think, you know, Jermaine Jackson Jr. had a, a really good inaugural year. Ty, I believe, is a definite player to your candidate and looks um, in, in the best shape he's been in since he's been here. And I think E. Ralph Penn coming back gives us some leadership and athleticism on the back line. And then we got a whole slew of other guys that I think are uh, ready to make a jump. Some guys that set out last year, some players that maybe had some inconsistencies last year. But I like, I like the squad. I think the guys are uh, much more connected, seem to be a really good team unit. And I believe with all the stuff that's going on in the world, they're, they're much more appreciative of uh, what we have in front of us, of the ability to be in college, uh, to spend time with their, their family, and uh, to be playing the game that we all love. And um, I'm hoping that nobody ever takes, uh, takes that for granted again. You know, Derek, we're, we're all aware of uh, Ty Flowers' ability. I mean, top four returning in seven different uh, statistical categories. I'm really intrigued with Jermaine Jackson, Jr. Last year, you had Jay Sean Augusto, who played solely point. Now, Jermaine's numbers were off the charts. Over 11 points, three assists, 83% from the foul line, 36 from three, on and on. Does he now move into the point guard solely, or do you have someone else that can split point, move him to two? Because you certainly don't want to take away his scoring ability. Oh, it was great as he did that, and he was not even in great shape. <laughs> I didn't think he got <laughs> in great, great shape, and um, he's come back. Um, washboard stomach, chest popping out. Um, and the great thing is he can play on and off the ball. So if Trey Wood comes in off the bench or we want to slide him to the two with Rashawn or whatever it might be, I think he's a, uh, a guy that can play both positions. And this year he's going to be able to pick up for 94 feet, bird dog the other team's guards, but also give us what he gave us offensively and just really become that leader that he now knows it's his team with Ty and he and a few of the other guys. But um, when you can put the, um, the team in your point guard's hands and say, all right, let's go with it, I think he's totally capable of uh, being one of the top-tier guards in this conference. Ty, you averaged nearly a double-double last year. Uh, shot blocking, shooting, you name it, you can do it. Um, two years ago, excellent three-point shooting year. Last year took a step back in that regard. Have you been working on your shot, and did you feel like uh, teams were keying on you last year? Um. Last year, I think I was just thinking too much about shooting my shot. I wasn't letting it go how it should be. Um, this year, I'm working on it a lot. I'm trying to get a quicker release um, to the next level. So I'm just trying to make my percentage better. Ty Flowers, you are a nightmare problem. You got a little one on you, you'll post them up. You got a big one on him, you'll take them on the perimeter. You have a choice to win a championship game. You want to take the three to win it? Or do you want to post up, spin move, and dunk in someone's head? Well, this year I'm going to try to do a little something different. I'm going to try to take it to the, the basket more. So I'm trying to dunk on someone's head, of course. Yeah. All right, let's send it now to Ryan Peters. And uh, Ryan, LIU, uh, one of the top squads in the league. What are your thoughts? Uh, hey, Derek, you know, this is such a talented team. But give Shark fans and NEC fans kind of a rundown of the strengths that Trey Wood brings you the, the transfer from UMass, and then Alex Rivera, the transfer from UMass Lowell. What are some of the strengths you're looking to, to utilize from as they enter their sophomore years? You know, those guys have been great teammates uh, throughout this because I think everybody wants to be a starter and a star and be, you know, the top player in the team in the program. And, and, and those guys, after coming off, um, you know, some different experiences, whether it was at UMass or UMass Lowell, I think um, they were just looking for an opportunity um, to be part of a family here at LIU. And um, they're working themselves in nicely. Trey Wood is, 
kind of like a prototypical point guard of, that I've had in the past, like a bigger, more athletic guy that can force tempo, really get up in the other point guard and make it hard for him. I think Alex Rivera uh, has really worked on his game, uh, has a great attitude, can score the basketball, really shooting a three. And I, I believe both of those guys um, could start for a lot of teams in our league um, and have an opportunity to really come in and help us uh, play the style that I want. I thought last year at different junctures, we never were able to really get up and pressure teams. Um, you know, our depth was hurt through in, in, injury some. I thought, um, you know, Erel uh, not playing kind of hurt our rim protection. And I'm hoping we can stretch the game out a little bit more, play faster this year, have some more fun, and really uh, use our talents uh, getting up and down the floor. Yeah, you mentioned him. So, Erol, what, what does he bring to your team as he comes back off an injured season? Right now, the number one thing is his maturity, his, um, his ability to be a professional in every aspect of his life. Um, and also carry that over and getting guys in the gym extra. Um, he's not afraid to tell people when they're doing right and uh, pump them up, but he's also not scared to tell people when they're doing wrong. And it's almost like an extension of me on the floor, which, uh, you know, it's something I thought we lacked at different junctures and times last season. So I'm looking for us to be a better defensive team. We better be a better rebounding team. <laughs> and um, hopefully we don't drop much offensively when I'm concentrating a little bit more on, you know, our press, our rebounding and playing some better defense. Yeah, you know, Ty, due to Erol's injury last year, I felt like you were maybe were playing a little out of position. Sometimes you had to play the five. Does moving back to that traditional four spot, does that help your game? Yeah, it helps my game a little bit more. Um, my legs won't be as tired as they usually are. Um, he can always tell me getting on the ball all the time. So going back and forth is a lot, but I like doing it. I've been doing it since I was at UMass, too, for DJ, so it doesn't really bother me. Can you, can you average a double-double? Is that the goal? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Ty, how did you work out this year? What What were some ways that you were able to kind of battle uh, the situation in the world and, and the quarantines and all that stuff in order to get yourself in shape for the season? Well, I'm back home. I would just run. I'm on the streets of Waterbury a little bit, as my coaches say. <laughs> but um, I run. I go to my boy's house. I lift a little bit. I just go to the park. I'll play some open runs, too. All right, well, we wish you guys good luck, and certainly uh, we'll see you soon. College basketball season starts November 25th, and uh, we'll get into some conference play soon after that. Uh, the LAU Sharks, Ty Flowers and Coach Kellogg, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's LIU coming up next, the defending regular season champions, the Merrimack Warriors. That's coming up on NEC Basketball Virtual Media Day.